He is known for his exceptional mathematical skills and academic achievements. He is recognized for being the youngest graduate of Baltimore City College and for receiving the Peabody Prize for Excellence in Mathematics. His name is Hugh Latimer Dryden. In the small town of Pocomoak City, Maryland, a young boy named Hugh Latimer Dryden was born into a modest family. His parents, Samuel Isaac and Nova Hill Culver Dryden, named him after a beloved local Methodist clergyman. However, their lives took a turn during the financial panic of 1907, as Dryden's father lost his job, prompting the family to move to Baltimore, Maryland in search of new opportunities. From a young age, Dryden displayed an exceptional aptitude for mathematics. He soared through his studies, graduating from Baltimore City College, a high school, at the remarkable age of 14. In fact, he became the youngest student ever to graduate from the school, a testament to his intellect and dedication. His remarkable achievements did not go unnoticed, as he was awarded the prestigious Peabody Prize for his outstanding excellence in mathematics. With his undeniable talent, Dryden secured a scholarship to Johns Hopkins University, where he continued to excel. In just three years, he graduated with honors, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in physics. But his thirst for knowledge did not stop there. In 1916, he obtained a Master of Science degree in physics, completing a thesis titled Airplanes, an introduction to the physical principles embodied in their use. This early exploration into the world of aviation hinted at the incredible contributions Dryden would make in the field of aerospace science. In 1918, Hugh Dryden began his career at the National Bureau of Standards as an inspector of gauges. With the support of Dr. Joseph Ames, he transferred to the Wind Tunnel Division and pursued his passion for fluid dynamics by taking graduate courses. At just 20 years old, Dryden earned his PhD in physics and mathematics from Johns Hopkins University, becoming the youngest person ever to receive a doctorate from the institution. His groundbreaking thesis focused on the air forces on circular cylinders. Recognizing Dryden's talent, he was appointed as the director of the Aerodynamics Division at the National Bureau of Standards in 1920. Collaborating with Dr. Lyman Briggs, he conducted pioneering research on airfoils at high speeds, tackling challenges such as airflow, turbulence, and the boundary layer phenomenon. His work played a pivotal role in the design of aircraft like the P-51 Mustang during World War II. By 1934, Dryden was promoted to Chief of the Mechanics and Sound Division at the Bureau. In 1939, he became a member of the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics NACA, further cementing his influence in the field. When World War II erupted, Dryden served as an advisor to the Air Force. He led the development of the BAT, a radar homing guided bomb program that proved successful in combat, sinking a Japanese destroyer in April 1945. After the war, Dryden assumed the role of Director of Aeronautical Research for NACA in 1946. During his tenure, he oversaw the development of the North American X-15, a revolutionary rocket plane used for research and testing. Additionally, he focused on vertical and short takeoff and landing v -STOL, aircraft programs and explored the challenges of atmospheric re-entry. From 1947 until October 1958, Dryden held the position of director of NACA, NASA's predecessor. He also served on various government advisory committees, including the Scientific Advisory Committee to the President. Dryden continued his contributions to the aerospace field as the deputy director of NASA until his passing. In 1962, Dryden played a vital role in facilitating discussions between the United States and the Soviet Union. These talks, alongside Soviet scientist Anatoly Blagonrovov, resulted in the Dryden-Blagonrovov Agreement. Although formalized during the tense Cuban Missile Crisis, the agreement focused on cooperation in exchanging data from weather satellites, studying the Earth's magnetic field, and tracking the U.S. Echo 2 balloon satellite. While further collaboration was hindered by the intensifying competition between the two nations' space programs, efforts were eventually reignited, leading to the historic Apollo-Soyuz test project in 1975. Hugh Dryden's remarkable career as a scientist and leader left an indelible mark on aeronautics and space exploration. His contributions, from pioneering aerodynamics research to fostering international cooperation, continue to shape the trajectory of scientific progress. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.